Hey friends! So I decided to take a walk in the woods, a hike, after an audition. So I got my audition makeup on. Um, wasting no time trying to find things um, to sustain me that I would enjoy, things that are my passion. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I thought I'd bring you with me to the woods because it's just so beautiful. Check it out. A lot of green. It's just, there's something so incredibly magical about the woods, the forest. Um, it's one of my favorite places to go and just decompress, recharge my soul. It really, it feels like I'm plugged into the giant battery of love. <laughs> um, I guess that is God. He's all of this. So it's beautiful. But my, my message today, so random, but this is on my heart. I saw the musical Hamilton with a friend. She had an extra ticket. So thank you, Carolyn, my INTP friend. And um, wonderful human, wonderful improviser. Funny, smart, beautiful human. And we saw Hamilton, a professional touring production. And I've seen it on Disney+. Plus, and of course, it's amazing. It's brilliant. It's a wonderful musical. Um, but something struck me seeing it live this time. And I am a theater nerd. I used to be a huge musical theater nerd growing up. I've kind of fallen off of that wagon, but I'm starting to come back to it. I'm coming back to my roots in a lot of ways. It's really interesting to see how life comes full circle after decades of existence. And um, something I noticed is that normally when you go to the theater, I feel like at least where I'm at, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of theater or um, exposure to it. It almost, I feel like there might be a perception that it's stuffy or for rich people or for older people um, and, or that it's not exciting and exhilarating. So normally when I go to a live production, there are a lot of much older people. So it's like a sea of silver, <laughs> which is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I love older people. Um, I have an old soul myself, so I, I get I get them. Um, but it was so cool to see younger generations. It was a mixture of everybody at Hamilton. And so I just want to give a big shout out. He'll probably never ever see this, and that's okay. I'm just sending it out there to the universe. A big thank you to Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote the book, the music, and the lyrics for Hamilton. He, he actually had the original role of Hamilton on Broadway. I was talking about crazy talented. I think he's an ENFP. He said what he was on Twitter because I think his mom's a psychologist. Um, either an INFP or an ENFP. I think he's an ENFP. Uh, <laughs> there's a family nearby, so I want to make sure I don't get them in the shot. Um, with kids. I don't want the kids to be exposed. <laughs> um, I used to be a teacher. That's like a big thing. You don't want uh, people on film unless they, they get you get their consent. But anyway, so there were a... Um, just a variety of people from different demographics, age groups, and it was so beautiful. And I thought, I just want to thank him for being innovative and creating something that really has resonated with the younger generation and to pass on these really amazing messages and to get them to the theater because the theater really is about storytelling and a catalyst for change in society. So I want to get more involved actually in the theater. Um, since I've mostly been doing improv, which is also a wonderful catalyst for change as well. But it's a whole different, it's a different animal in some ways. The scripted theater and musical theater. So, yeah, and I forgot to give my background about it. You know, my degrees are in theater and I've performed professionally. I still do stuff currently and I am an actress. So I really, I respect the art form on such a deep level. And um, I just appreciate that more people are getting exposed to it, so I thought that was really cool. And if you love theater or musical theater, musicals, or if you've seen Hamilton, let me know. I would love to hear your two cents on it. Or if you love the woods, I'm into the woods, uh, which is a musical by Stephen Sondheim, who is another brilliant composer. His, his compositions are so complex. Um, but I just, this is kind of like my little geek out, my little musical theater geek out, just like a little sliver of it. I don't want to give you too much. I don't want to like overload you with the musical theater geeking out. Um, but I just really appreciate that maybe, maybe theater is not dying because I feel like 
maybe people see it as sort of like an older art form. Because I remember when I was telling people I was majoring in theater, and there's just a lot, you just get a lot of naysayers, I think, thinking like, well, what are you going to do with that degree? And it's like, well, what can I not do with that degree? It teaches me empathy, it teaches me teamwork, it teaches me um, collaboration, which is teamwork, <laughs> creativity, open-mindedness, um, so many, so many skills that you get you don't even realize. I mean, everything from the lighting to the stagecraft to the acting to the directing um, to the costumes. There's just so many components when you learn all of it. You get so many different skills. I worked in a costume shop for a while, so you have those basic sewing skills, which is always helpful. <sighs> so, yeah, this is just one for the theater nerds, I guess, and those who love nature. Thank you for following me out here. That's really all I wanted to say in this video. Just say thank you to Lynn manuel Miranda and anybody who's a creative. Um, please put your stuff out there. You don't know how it's going to be received or impact people. It's super important and I need to listen to my own stuff. I'm sitting on some things right now. I'm like, okay, what do I do with them now? I have them and I want them to get out there and be birthed, but I need the right time, the right place. So I'm, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I hope everybody is well. I'll keep making these videos. My brother suggested, which is not a bad idea, to go to more nature places when I film. I guess to vary up the scenery. I know it probably gets old looking at my living room. I get tired of looking at my living room. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I might try to do that, but we'll see as often as I can, depending, you know, my schedule and whatnot. Um, but I wish you all so well, and um, I guess I'll continue my hike. All right. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.